decorate my house for the holidays. I like to decorate my shop for the holidays. I like to find holiday things. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Misty and I am a full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, but I also own a brick and mortar antique store called Wildflower Antiques. Happy halloween -y time, guys. This is one of my very favorite, favorite times of year. I love to decorate for the holidays. I love to decorate my house for the holidays. I like to decorate my shop for the holidays. I like to find holiday things. And Halloween is one of my very, very favorite holidays because I think I, I think it's because I love fall so much. Fall is my favorite season. Living in Indiana, we sometimes don't get much of a fall anymore. It seems to go straight from summer to winter, but I love the smells of fall. I love the look of fall. I, I love fall. So that's probably why I like Halloween so much. As you can see, I've got my little buddy here. This is my blow mold ghost. It is in a vintage empire blow mold. And my dad found it at a yard sale for $10 and I'm keeping him and he's in my family room and that's where he stays. He stays in my family room all season long, lit up at night, creating a nice little ghostly ambiance in my family room. I want to thank Nesting Haven and Gentle Thrifting Mama for the invite to be a part of this collaboration. This is so exciting and I have a lot of stuff here so I'm going to go ahead and get started because well, I just have a lot of stuff here. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. I already showed you my ghost and I'll go ahead and show you the two other blow molds that I have found recently. This guy is just this little pumpkin head with the cat. He, I'm looking to see, he isn't marked. So I, he isn't Empire. He isn't, you know, any brand of any sort. This next guy we got at a Goodwill when we were on vacation in Michigan. And it's just this nice big pumpkin blow mold. It also is an empire, like the, our my little ghost friend here. Can you see? Oh, there's the big E right there. He doesn't have his light bulb, but at Christmas time, I tend to stock up on these. You can buy them at Lowe's. You can buy them at Menards. You can actually also buy them online, and that's the little replacement bulbs. Uh, I do keep them on hand because finding ceramic Christmas trees or ceramic ghosts or ceramic houses uh, that need that little illumination, they're good to keep on hand. So I will be putting one in here. Actually, I, I have him set up already and I just have him sitting up. He looks kind of cool, not even lit up, but I am keeping him as well. You know, these look, they look good illuminated or, you know, you could just put them up on a shelf and he's just a fun little, he's just a fun little pumpkin to add to your decor. All right, I will go ahead and get started with this guy. This is Casper. Do you guys remember Casper the Friendly Ghost? I know that you're probably singing the song in your mind right now. Casper the Friendly Ghost. Okay, I got this guy in a box full of items at an auction. It was a box full of different stuffed animals. There was vintage Mickey, there was vintage Bugs Bunny, all with the pull string. Now, his little pull string is supposed to come out of his neck. See that little hole there? It's supposed to come out of his neck. But whoever had this before, ever so kindly, just safety pinned his original pull string to his arm. So he doesn't work. I don't know what he would say if he did, but he has this cute little terry cloth body. He just looks cute sitting in a chair at Halloween. He's a friendly little ghost. So I am keeping him as well. You know, his condition is a little questionable, but how often do you find one of these? Not very often. He is made by Mattel. I'll show you his little tag here. Probably from the 60s. And he's an, an addition to our family. All right, moving on. These next items, I picked up several of these. I took several of them to the shop to use as decor, but I kept some as well. I got them at Goodwill. Uh, there was a lot of six of them. Uh, so there were three of these eeks and three of these boos in a, just rolled up and I paid $1.99 for all six of them. They were originally sold at Target, but I just think that they're just really fun 
colorful things to add to your decor. Okay. This next item I got, I paid 99 cents for at Goodwill and they are just these, they're not vintage. They're just these little Halloween pumpkins. Let me pull one out. I don't know. Yeah, they do ha all have different faces. They are candles, but I would never light these candles. These are just fun little things to add to an accent. I will take these to the shop and add them to little various spots around the little vignettes around and we'll add accent i will put a price on these i paid a dollar a piece for them i probably will put a dollar i paid a dollar for the whole box i probably will put like a dollar a piece on them this next little guy i got you know some of the stuff i don't even remember where i bought it from i've just bought it at various yard sales or auctions or uh goodwill the goodwill items i still left the price tags on but the rest of the things, I'll try to do my best to remember. But this little guy, he does no, he no longer has his little handle. He, see, you can see here, he just had one of those black handles. He's just like a little miniature candy bucket. He isn't marked in any way. Um, I don't know where I got this from. I could have got it at an auction. I could have got it at a yard sale. And the price tag is no longer on it. It looks like at some point, somebody tried to sell us for 39 cents. But again, it just is something fun to add to your shelf or to a display. And you can put flowers in here. You could put a battery operated candle inside here. He's just a fun little pumpkin. This next item is something that I found recently at a yard sale. Um, and it was in one of my garage sale with me videos, I do believe. But I paid a dollar for it and it is this little Bastille pumpkin. It is one of the little um, honeycomb pumpkins. And so you open it up and use it as, again, as a display piece to add to a shelf or to a table. So this is also something that I am keeping. I have a hard time letting go of my Halloween things, especially the vintage things, because they're getting so hard to find. Okay, this next item I did find at Goodwill for 99 cents. It's just this, it's not a paper mache, but it's paper mache-esque, so it looks, it looks vintage. It's not vintage, but it looks vintage. And he is just like a little folk art pumpkin with a little handle. Again, great little accent piece. You put flowers in here. You can put candy in here, but he will sit on a shelf. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep him or not. I probably will. I do have a couple of paper mache pumpkins that I actually found in the trash. That's a whole other story for another day. But these guys, I don't know. I'm probably going to keep him, but for 99 cents, absolutely. Okay. I got these at a yard sale probably early, early, early spring. Um, I think I paid a dollar for the pair. They've never been used, but they are these, just these little jack-o'-lantern salt and pepper shakers. I actually set these on my dining room table and we use these. So these are, they were brand new, never used. I still went ahead and cleaned them, obviously, since we were going to actively use them for our meals. And so these just sat on my dining room table. This next little item here is something that I probably got at a yard sale or at an auction in a box full of stuff. But it is just this little jack-o'-lantern pumpkin here. He doesn't have any maker's marks on him at all, but let me pull off his little stem and show you what he is he is he lights up so he takes one of those little bitty light bulbs and i think that you have he has to be turned on all the time i don't know exactly how he turns on I this part right here is pretty rusty so we're not gonna we're not gonna illuminate him he's just gonna look cute sitting on a shelf in my home because i'm keeping him this is was in a box full of other things that I pulled out of an auction and it is Gantz. I think it probably went, I don't know if you can see Gantz. Gantz is like a, a stuffed animal. They make stuffed animals. And I think that he might have went with another stuffed animal and it's just this little ceramic jack-o'-lantern candle. 
handle there. But again, he looks cute just sitting on the shelf with my other Halloween things. He's not worth much. He's just cute. And then this little guy I got at Goodwill for 99 cents. He's just this funny little faced votive holder jack-o'-lantern. He's ceramic. He isn't vintage. You can see there's a more modern tag on there, but I just liked his face. He kind of looks like he's an old man. These guys I picked up at a garage sale. I believe I paid 50 cents a piece for them. The tags are no longer on them. This is more of something that I can keep out all fall. They're just little ceramic hand painted um, scarecrows. So they can stay out all fall. I like to find things that are definitely Halloween items, but I also like to find things that I can set out all throughout Thanksgiving as well. So these, I will be able to do that. So I probably got him at a yard sale. Don't know how much I paid for him, but sometimes when you're buying things to keep, does it really matter that we tell how much we paid for things? If I was gonna resell it, that's a little bit different, but I am keeping him. He is this light up ghost. He does work and when he lights up, all of the light comes through his spooky little sheet there and through the jack-o'-lantern's face. So you can see he has a bulb down here. And the nice thing about this guy, a lot of times these don't have these little toggle switches. And that's nice because sometimes you, it's a, it's a pain to have to unplug it and then plug it back in. So he has a little toggle switch. So this is something that I'm also keeping. This guy I featured on one of my Instagram stories. I found him at a yard sale and I kind of did a little bit of a poll if I should keep him or sell him. And a lot of people said that I should sell him because they wanted him, but I'm keeping him. And he is just this fun little Buddha belly ghost. Doesn't he look like he's just sneaking up beside someone and boo and scaring him? Look at his little Buddha belly. So I am keeping him. He has no maker's mark on him or even a signature. I'm sure he was hand painted, but he's just fun. He will go to my little ghost art, my not so little ghost collection. Okay, this I just picked up this past weekend and my husband was like, why? Well, because first of all, she was 69 cents, but she's just this little Wit ghost. She's a little witch. She's missing an eye. She's a one-eyed witch. But she was made in Taiwan, so that does show some age to her. I just think she's fun. And she's sitting on this little styrofoam disc, this crepe paper around her. I don't know. I just like her. I'm keeping her. She's going in my little witch collection for 69 cents. Yeah. This next little ghost I got at Goodwill for 99 cents. I'm always holding the, the price tags upside down, it seems to be. But it was 99 cents. And I loved his face. There's a couple aspects about this little guy that I love. But look at his face. He's obviously a hand-painted piece. I have a soft spot in my heart for all of these ceramics pieces. And I usually keep them because they're not worth a lot of money. I just think they're fun. Someone really enjoyed him because they put little felt on the bottom so he wouldn't scratch the surface of where he was displayed. But my favorite part about him is his butt. He has a ghost butt. Look at that. He's just, you know, just hanging around. And look at my butt. I liked him. He's, he, I'm keeping him. All right, this other little ghost also 99 cents at Goodwill. And I, you know, I don't think that he is a ceramics piece. His gloss is, he's very, very glossy. Um, and you can see the difference between the gloss, see the sheen on this guy and the, you know, this is more of a matte, it's more pearlized, but you can tell, you can tell by looking at them if they were mass produced or if they were hand painted. And I don't believe that this one was hand painted, uh, but he's just this little cute little ghost coming out of a pumpkin. And I like the jack-o'-lantern's face. So he will go to my collection as well. This next item, uh, I bought this at an auction early in the spring, I do believe, or winter even. And it was sitting at a table and I stayed at this auction longer than what I needed to because I wanted this item. It's not worth a lot of money, 
but I'm keeping it so I don't care. And it is this Casper, the Friendly Ghost Milk Glass Cup. It's made by, um, oh, where is it at? Westfield. Ooh, it's not going to focus on the, there we go. The name, very well, Westfield. I love this. I I needed it. I had to have it. So I, I stayed and I got it. And I was in a little bit of a heated bidding war with someone as I was buying it. So I, I'm relentless and I don't stop when it's something that I want to keep for myself. But this is in great condition. But look at that. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Okay. This next item I got... I believe I got, I paid a dollar for it at a yard sale and it's this cute little vintage. I've seen these a lot on Instagram. These are kind of a hot thing right now. This cute little vintage pumpkin planter, very dirty, needs cleaned. He was made in Taiwan. So he has some age. I do believe that this was something that a florist, you know, it was an arrangement, came in a floral, floral arrangement, like an FTD or some sort of thing like that. Um, this one actually says Inland Floral Incorporated. I'll show you the tag. Make sure that I'm showing it to you right side up. 1987. Ooh. We turned a little purple there, didn't we? So this guy I am also keeping, I think. I don't... I don't do well with plants. I do succulents I can do. So maybe I should put a succulent in him. I haven't decided yet. But I've had him since probably Christmas time around that time. So he's been sitting in my garage. And I'm shocked that he still has not gotten broken at all. Because he's been transferred a couple different times. All right. The next thing is I also paid 99 cents for this at Goodwill. And it's just this little pumpkin tea light holder, candle holder. This is something that I am going to take to the shop because, I mean, I like jack-o'-lanterns, but I like ghosts and witches more. And then there's this guy, this girl, this gal. She is this little witch. She was in a box full of things that I got at an auction. And here she is. Look at her face. Woo-hoo. She's kind of a friendly witch, though. Uh, she's clinging on to that broom, though. My goodness. Look at her hair like a fuzz furry she is made by Ouija not like the Ouija board but Ouija she still has her tags on her showstoppers incorporated but she was made in China but this doll is not a toy it is a decorative item and it's not suitable for young children look at her feet <laughs> so I don't know about her yet um I'm probably going to take her to the shop and sell her. These next things I got at Goodwill, I paid $1.99 for them. I don't know why. I'm going to take these to the shop, but they are, they're cute. This one's turned around. Let me turn this one around the right way. But they'll look good in a crock, but they're just these wooden spoons that someone has painted with jack-o'-lantern faces and a pumpkin face, and then they painted the ends here. I probably shouldn't have bought these for $1.99, but I did, and I'm going to take them to the shop, put them in a crock, put them in a display. I may end up selling it with the crock or selling it with, with an item that helps upsell an item. This is something that didn't cost me a lot of money, and I can put it in something that's a little bit more expensive to maybe market it and sell it in that way. So, wooden spoons going to the shop. Okay, uh, this next guy was in a box of things that I got from an auction. I love to buy box lots because sometimes you don't know what's in there. You're buying these boxes because you kind of see what's on the top. And sometimes there are treasures underneath and they're amazing. This is one of those things that was amazing. This is still in the box. It's a lantern. It's a jack-o'-lantern lantern. And look at this graphic on here. It's a pumpkin shade with blinker. Look at her. Oh, I love the graphics on this box. So let me pull this out. The box is in pretty rough condition. And this needs cleaned. But this is metal. And you put the battery inside there. 
in the battery compartment. I don't know. I haven't tested it to see if it works, but the battery compartment is, does look really good. And then you, you can turn it on and off by this little switch. So this I'm definitely keeping. It is just a fun, I can't get the lid, the bottom of it on. It's just a fun little unusual piece. I'm going to clean him up and put him on my shelf. These next items I got when we were on vacation at a either Goodwill or St. Vincent Army. But I paid, no, I'm sorry, I got these at a yard sale. I paid $3 for them at a yard sale that we went to while we were on vacation. And they are, well, there's this puppet here. It's just a plastic puppet. It's probably, it was probably a goodie bag for a Halloween party. And then, oh, her body's falling off. Let me fix her. Oh, wait, there's another one. Sorry. There's another puppet. Treat bag. And then there was these puppets in here. Oh, wait, there's another treat bag. There is another treat bag, sort of, well, almost like the other one. And then there were these puppets in here. And, I mean, these two aren't really Halloween, but the other one is. So, there was this puppet. And, I mean, this, this one's kind of Halloween, this puppet. This is the one that I liked. I've got to fix her, because her head has fallen off. But then there's this puppet. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at her green eyes. She is frightening. So I liked her. I'll have to try to fix her head a little bit. This, um, probably got this at a, in a, in a box lot. I'm just showing it. It's just another one of those little jack-o'-lantern candles that I'm going to take to the shop. And then my dad picked these up and I think they're fun. I'm keeping them. This one I don't, I just love her. He got these at a yard sale. He probably paid, you know, 50 cents or so a piece for them. But there's this little triangular shaped witch. She's a very odd shape. But look at her hands. She's got like skeletal hands. Look at her face. So I'm keeping her, adding her to my little witch collection. And then this one. She's kind of a happy witch. She has a happy witch face. She's on her broom. And he also picked up this girly, these girly candles. Now these are, these are Thanksgiving, this little turkey. And it is a, let me make sure that I'm holding this up the right way. A girly cancel, a girly candle. So there's the turkey and the pilgrims right there. They both as well <laughs> are girly candles. And then also, I got this at Goodwill, and I paid 99 cents for her. She is probably from the 80s. She was made, she was made in the USA, in Cleveland, Ohio. But I love her. Look at her face. She's kind of a happy witch, too. I really like the scary. I like the scary, angry things. Scary, angry face things I just love. So she's kind of a happy, but kind of frightening, which all at the same time. So she'll go to my collection as well. I got this guy at a yard sale, I think maybe for a quarter. He did have a broken tail, but he's just a Halloween cat. I mean, look at his claws. I don't know why he has that on the back. I don't, I don't know why he has this indentation on the back, but you can see where his tail at one point was glued on. But he's just a little hand-painted ceramic, but I liked him. I'll put him, I liked his, I liked his height, so I'll put him with, on the shelf with my witch collection because, you know, he adds a little bit of height and dimension to the shelf. This guy I also featured on my Instagram. I got him at Salvation Army for 99 cents. Now, he is a little frightening, but I like him and I want to figure out something to put in his hand he's kind of a what would you call him a zombie a grim reaper skeleton skeleton man grim reaper I want to figure something to put in his hand like a little sign that says something or I don't know a little shrunken head I don't know but I'm keeping him I think that he is 
marvelous. He's made out of wood. Somebody has hand carved him and painted him and I love him. So I'm keeping this one as well. Two more items. This guy I paid $3.99 for at Goodwill and I liked him because I can keep him out all through Thanksgiving. And he also lights up and he has the toggle switch too, which is nice. But here's his little, he doesn't have his light bulb, but he does have his cord. And he's just a fun little scarecrow. And when you light him up, his little pants have slits through them. And so the light will come out of his buttons and his hand and his eyes, which might be a little frightening. We'll see. So we'll have to light him up and see how maybe frightening. That's my that might be the bonus that he's frightening. And then the last thing is something that on a good or not a goodwill on a yard sale with me video, my husband found a sack full of uh, ball jar rims. You know the the rims that go around the ball jar. And being the crafty guy that he is, said, "Oh, we could make those those pumpkins out of." out of these lids and the I think we paid a dollar for all the lids and we ended up making four of these pumpkins here is one that I'm keeping the rest of them oh there's the the hot glue web but we just made these little pumpkins and I think this one has 20 rims around it and you just put them on wire and then you close them up he cut some branches out of sticks in our yard and then I just added this fun ribbon that I got at Joanne so cute little pumpkin I can actually change the ribbon out if I want to keep it out for Thanksgiving and so I actually have the rest of these for sale for sale at the shop and I think they're fun they're just a fun little a repurposed item that adds a little decor to your home but that's it guys so these were all the things that I've been hoarding up and pilfering away in a box now I can, now that I filmed this video, I can get them displayed in my home. I can take them to the shop and I will start looking for more because I'm always looking for Halloween things. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you go through and you check out everybody's videos. Make sure that you show them all some love. Leave some comments. Give them some thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to everybody's channel. And I hope that you enjoyed this. I will see you in my next video. I hope if you subscribe, which I hope you do. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye.